Welcome to Soltron. This is the video review for Jurassic Cops C Season 3, Firesaurus. Here's the front of the box. The sides of the the side of the box that shows all the other figures in this wave. And then the side that shows some of the gimmicks. And the back that shows CGI model, and then a combined mode. Here's how he scales with some other figures. So here's his head sculpt. You can see he's got a humanoid face under the helmet. And like Jupino Cops, the helmet is removable, so you can get a better look at his face. And then when you swap it around, you can get a battle mask. which is a really great gimmick. And then as for his overall aesthetic, he's a bit stumpy looking, but that kind of works with this figure. And I'm I actually, just looking at the proportions, I expected this figure to be as big as Jupino Cops or bigger, because he looks like he would be a large figure, but he's actually a little bit smaller. And then it is really cool that he comes with this this hammer weapon. I think suits the figure very well. But this does come with some issues right away is that this hammer is of course too heavy and you can see that we've got a lot of issues with the joints just sagging. The shoulder is on a ratchet so you can get that to kind of work but then the bicep is kind of loose and then the elbow is not gonna hold this up either. It's just way too heavy. For this figure so you just have to prop it prop it up on something for it to work so having the hammer in his hand just doesn't feel very good but it is a very cool looking hammer so you do have ratcheted shoulders and then there is a double joint hinge in there so you can get a little bit of outward motion on the shoulder you do get a rotating bicep and then there is an elbow joint And then for transformation, you have pivots on the fist. You do have 360 on the neck. And then the waist, the hips do have an outward ratchet, which does a pretty good job of holding up these really heavy feet. And then you get a forward kick with a ratchet and a backward kick. Okay, and then the, the core figures fit in these slots in his leg. And then you do have ankle pivot, but it pivots in both directions. It's not actually that useful. If you get a wider stance, you can't pivot in enough. So it just mostly works with your basic A stance. And then you do have a thigh swivel too. So this guy has more articulation than Jupino Gops. And then we'll look at his back here. He's got very little kibble. He's got this block back here. And... Um, there's kind of some weirdness there. So this block is actually the same. The block on the hammer is actually this, exactly the same piece. So it's weird you get this piece two times. And if you want to store the hammer on his back, you have to just get rid of this block. It's just extra. So really weird engineering choice that I don't like at all. And then you can clip the, the rest of the ladder. Hammer goes right there. So he, he does have weapon storage, except for the head of the hammer just has no place to go, which is very weird. So overall, I kind of do like the aesthetic of this figure, but he seems a bit generic to me for whatever reason. I like the, the clear, transparent plastic on him, but overall, he just doesn't... He just looks like a robot. He doesn't look like he transforms into anything, really. So i just rate this robot mode as kind of a 7. Not my favorite. I got him mostly because he combines. And then his, for his core dinosaur figures, they do have the same light-up gimmick where you rotate the base and they light up and the heads do fold out. And you have an Ankylosaurus. And he's got stickers for eyes and a Pachycephalosaurus. 
And then same gimmick. I wish they would have gone with other colors for the LED. I think purple would have looked really good on this guy and a blue on this one because the red doesn't really transfer very much. And to transform this guy, there is some parts forming, but I don't really mind that too much because he does combine with another robot. So the first thing you do is you just pull off his chest. And you can see that's held on by these two little clips, which I'm not really liking either. This looks like it has the potential to break over time. Not, not the best way to secure it. And then you pull off this block in the back. And that's where his head is also attached. So you're going to fold that into this block. And then you're going to attach the ladder to this part, but as you can see, this is the same piece that the hammer is made out of. And you can't use this block be in robot mode because it makes up his head. So you have to swap it out with this other extra piece, which is just really weird choice because you could have still made the hammer using all this part. It's just this part that needed to stay on the robot. So I'm not sure why they engineered it that way, but you're gonna attach this to the ladder. And then you can set that aside. And the next thing you have to do is just rip his whole body in half. And you can see his body is also held in by these kind of cheap looking clips. So I don't know over time how well those are gonna hold up, but these three clips are what holds him together, plus the chest armor and the back piece. And then to transform him is actually a little bit more difficult than it would look. The front part is very easy, is you just fold the head out of the shoulder and then you collapse this double joint, just recesses down. And then the fist is going to collapse, and then you telescope the arm closed. So, so far, that's pretty simple with the front section, but this back section here just has a ton of moving joints. So you have this huge panel, you have the tread panel can also be rotated. And then you get all this foot panel, which is on double hinge. So there's just a lot of different moving parts. So you rotate the foot around, and then you collapse that down. Oh no, I got that wrong. Actually, you do want the foot to be facing down and then you're going to collapse that underneath the vehicle mode. And unfortunately, these panels are very loose, so you are So that is very likely to happen. And then the the heel of the foot, you're going to rotate up into this position. So let me reattach these panels. Okay, I see my mistake. So there's actually another joint in here which needs to be bent, which is kind of the knee joint in robot mode. And now you can fold these panels. Okay, well, I don't, I'm not even sure what I did wrong. I think maybe when these panels popped off, I put them both on upside down. Um, but this is how he should look like in his vehicle mode. And then you take the ladder piece and that's going to clip on top here. So this little clip right here is going to clip right there on onto his back. Okay, so that's how the Ankylosaurus looks in vehicle mode. And then and then you take this blue crystal and that's just going to use there's a couple of grooves here or a couple of tracks and that goes into this groove and that's what holds the crystal in place. So you're going to just clip that here in the back and I guess it doesn't really matter which way it's facing. You can also clip it that way. Okay, so I'll attempt to transform the other one correctly. Okay, so you fold up the fist, collapse the, sh the arm, flip up the animal head, and then collapse that. So that part's all the same. And then you rotate this this way and then this will go rotate this way. And then this panel rotates here and then this panel rotates down. 
Okay, that's looking good. And then you do the same thing for the other side. And then finally, the whole foot section is going to rotate up here. Okay, and that, and then this heel will just rotate back this way. Okay, so that worked out really well. I don't know what my problem was with the first guy. And then this will just clip on again to the bottom of the foot. And then you have this robot, and then you take the chest armor, and that's going to clip on top and look like that. So you have these two vehicles, which look vaguely like a, a fire truck, because you have the ladder that's and the color, that's pretty much the only way you'd know that these are supposed to be fire trucks. And if we compare that to the box art, okay, that looks pretty similar. And then for the purple one, you have this giant cannon on his back, which is not represented by this toy at all. There's no giant cannon. You just have this shield piece, which looks like the back of the cannon back here. So that's pretty misleading. Okay, and here's how they look with Jupino Cops and a deluxe size transformer. So I'd rate these alt modes as probably like a three. They're pretty terrible looking. Um, I, I just really do not understand what they were going for with this. But I can forgive a poor alt mode and a pretty average robot mode, as long as the combined mode looks pretty good. So let's see how that turns out. So first you take off everything that's extra. And then you're going to rotate these pieces up. And what helps me transform this and not get confused is the combiner peg is way up here. So you're gonna to wanna to rotate that into place so it's in the correct position. And then get the combiner port ready and then rotate the beast mode head up. And then you're gonna rotate these giant panels up like this, and then you expose what's basically gonna become a bicep and an elbow joint are going to be this thigh joint right here. And then the, the foot joint, you're just going to put up here and then rotate what was the heel. And then you get this looking, this pretty cool looking robotic piece. And then you take this, which looks kind of like a fist, and there's grooves here on the back of the robot or the animal head, and that's going to clip onto here. And then while we're on the subject, this this little groove system doesn't feel great. Um, it would have been nice if they actually worked in some combining ports that weren't just friction. So if that like clicked into place with ratchets or something, that would have felt a lot better, but it just slides in with friction. So that's basically one arm completed. Okay, and here's the other arm completed, and now we're going to assemble these into Jupino Cops. So to get him ready for transformation, it's really easy. We're just going to fold up his arms. We're gonna rotate those to his back. And this is kind of a extra articulation joint for his robot mode. You can kind of cheat that. And then you just rotate the sirens kind of out of the way. And then he's pretty much ready for combination. So you're going to use these combiner ports. It's pretty hard to see in there, but there is like these kind of um, two little brackets that will grasp this mushroom peg right there. So you're going to just shove this mushroom peg in here the best you can. And I find if you rotate that out a little bit, it gives you some space and then you just got to wedge this whole thing in here and hopefully this mushroom peg doesn't collapse because this is just on a really small pivot that likes to move around so you got to wedge that in there the best you can and now he's going to be very side heavy so he's just going to fall over so you can kind of get him looking with one arm installed which is a pretty cool look but he can there's no way he's going to stand up with this with half of a robot on his side Okay, and here he is with both of the arms installed, and that is actually a pretty cool look. I, I have to admit, this looks pretty great. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of issues happening here. So first off, none of these shoulder panels peg in at all. 
So, so all of this feels very floppy. And if you try to articulate the figure, these are likely to fall off because they're just not secured very well. Um, I really like how this arm continues and it has what looks like the dino cores kind of look like fists, which is pretty cool. And the, you do get a decent amount of articulation on these. Well, sort of is you get an elbow joint, which is nice. So he can lift these up and you do have that thigh swivel on the fire source from earlier. So you do get kind of a bicep swivel, but it, it's very loose and it likes to lock into this position. So it is there. You can kind of use it, but it's not going to work out very well. So you do get, and that's about all the arm articulation you're going to get. You cannot rotate these at all. So it's weird that they're like shaped like a mushroom peg, but they can be rotated this way, which is not useful. So otherwise you're bashing into kind of his original shoulders right here. So you cannot actually rotate these forward, which is a huge problem. Um, it would have been nice if they just made these like rectangles or something more secure because you can already see they're sagging. They're on these weird pivots, so it already feels like a bad joint. This one is already looking like it's trying to fall out. And another issue is that these mushroom pegs are just shaped in such a way when you try to pull these arms off, you end up splitting this guy's body a little bit when you try to pull it out. You t it takes a lot of force to get these out, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because you're splitting the plastic here. So very not well designed on these combiner ports. So I'm not sure how I feel about getting the rest of these figures, but I really do like this combination look. And this is actually different than than his combined mode. So his combined mode, you're going to do a little bit extra is you're going to pull out these little hidden fists down here, which is a cool look. You're going to take the dino crystal and this is actually going to go on top of the shoulder now. And then the last little tweak you're going to do is you're going to rotate this panel to give his shoulders just a little bit more bulk. So it's pretty small change compared to his non-combined mode arm. If you look at the two of them side by side, now the crystal's been moved up to here, the fist is pulled out, and then the shoulder panels just have this panel moving sideways. So it's a pretty similar look, but what's nice about, um, and then you can still use the light up function by rotating these. So here's how he looks ready for combination. And then he is gonna get a chest piece and a new helmet for his final combination mode, but this is basically what it's going to end up looking like. And I I really do like how this is shaping up, but unfortunately there's just so many quality control issues. I don't know if I can get the rest of these figures. So he will have giant feet to add on. He's also gonna have a giant backpack. And this guy's already really heavy, and I'm already worried about his hip joints like just shearing off from the weight of him because I don't know about the quality control. This guy feels really good as just a solo robot, but when you start adding all this extra weight and then he's going to have a whole nother robot on his back as a backpack, I'm just not sure this guy's going to be able to handle everything, especially with his legs already spreading out like this. It just seems like he's got a good chance of breaking. But if you're really interested in this figure and you want to buy this combination, I'll leave a link in the description. You can get them from um, the It's Toy Shop on eBay. And maybe I'll see you next time for the next upgrade on this figure.